One day when I was in third grade, I decided to sign up to play the viola. Yeah, big mistake. I ended up hating playing that thing. It was uncomfortable and I hated reading the notes. But at that time, my teacher was nice enough, except for when she would yell at me for not cutting my naturally long nails, which I get was annoying for her because in order to sound good, I needed to have short nails. But I really couldn't give a flying cockadoodle pickle about all this viola stuff. So I really wanted to quit, but my mom wouldn't let me for two years because she thought I'd be the next Beethoven or something. But in fifth grade, she finally let me. Fast forward to about eighth grade in my tech class, I had to sit next to some girl who really didn't like me for some reason. Like she made a poem about me saying, if a brick smacked Jess in the face, the world would be a better place. So some crazy little Shakespeare chick who either wants me dead or wants my face to be as flat as a pancake is sitting next to me. Great. So I was just minding my own business when this snobby McSnobster turns to me and goes, Hey, Jess, why don't you tell everyone why you quit Viola? Uh, because it made me so stressed. I want to break it into itty bitty pieces and then strangle myself with its strings until I was unconscious and blue. Why? Yeah, right. You sure it's not because you didn't want to cut your nails? Then that's when my eyes widened. Where did you get that false information? Oh, I asked some girl about you and she told me that. Well, I hate to break it to you, honey, but your friend is a liar. Well, actually, the teacher told her class. How pathetic. And blah, 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 blah. I just kind of zoned this chick out at this point. I was stunned that some 30-something old teacher would pollute some kid's mind with some stupid lie about another student. I need to know exactly what this teacher said about me. So I asked some of my old fella viola buddies, and going by what they said, this is what happened. Some girl said, hey, why isn't Jess here? Did she quit or something? And instead of saying something along the lines of, oh, well, that's her private business, this salty teacher told her whole class, oh, the reason Jess quit is because she couldn't cut her nails. So some kids went, ooh, exposed. Others laughed like, yeah, 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 quitter. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was mortified that 10-year-old me and my long fingernails made a negative appearance with my name in her class. Like, lady, you are 30. Your school gossiping days are over. At first, I was offended, but then I realized I'm not the 30-year-old waz bag in this situation gossiping about 10-year-olds. But now, I just wish I could go back to my elementary school and suck up enough courage and confront her and say, Hey, I don't appreciate your grown butt spreading a lie about my 10-year-old self and my fingernail length. And then watch the color drain out of her face. A huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Not all learning experiences have to involve a gossipy teacher. Skillshare is an online learning platform that gives you access to thousands of classes. From learning how to vlog, to building your own website, to tutorials on how to draw cute animals, Skillshare has it all. Our personal favorite is Rock Out with Character Animation, because by the end of the class, you actually know how to animate your favorite musician. With a premium membership, you have unlimited access to all classes, and it's more affordable than most learning platforms out there. Skillshare is offering the first 1,000 story boosters who use the promo link in the description the first two months for only 99 cents. So go try it out today. Oh my god, we totally jumped off the cliff and had to swim all the way to shore because the dog chased us all the way to the end.